Steve, after Saturday's disappointment, you said there would be a response, and my goodness me, there certainly was this evening. We were terrific, weren't we? Well, the team talk was nothing but um, make your wrongs right tonight. You know, we all made mistakes, the management staff and players. And uh, like I say, they went out there tonight and, and done what they'd done wrong on Saturday. They put right tonight. Uh, it was absolutely brilliant. I mean, obviously Luke will take the headlines, but I thought everyone was tremendous. The defence were brilliant. And this was a good Enfield side. Yeah, they're, they're good neat pass inside, uh, which in the first 20 minutes I thought that they had the upper hand. After that, we got a foothold in the game. You know, we scored a bit, maybe a lucky goal, you know, but we're putting them under pressure. And then they score a fortuitous goal. Um, but they're a good side. They're, they've been on a good run. And they just come up against a side tonight that, in my opinion, um, just showed a little bit more desire in, in, in the final third. Definitely. And a bit suicidal from their point, keeping us to a high line with somebody like Luke Bluden wandering around the place. Yeah, well, we, we picked up on that straight away. So it wasn't the prettiest of games. Um, we didn't play lovely football. But I'll tell you what we was, we was effective. It proved it with a second goal. You know, uh, long kick from Anthony. Bradley would go on his guard and flicked it on Luke Bluden's one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. So you could call it long ball, but I call it effective. And like I said to him, because of the line they were playing... All we need to do is get it in behind them. And then whether that's a, a 10 yard chip over the top or a 40 yard um, ball into the channel, all we have to do is get in behind them. Their right back got booked early, so did their centre half. And so they're walking a tight rope. They can't do anything. And as long as we turn them um, with the high line they were playing, I felt we'd be effective. And we was. And some terrific saves from, uh, from Tony, weren't they? Yeah, the one in the first half, maybe people say it's routine, but it's going in the top corner, he's done it. Then he's made a mistake and he got told about half time. He came out and he was commanding in the second half and it helped the back four because he was coming and claiming balls. I think he only had to punch one in the second half, but the rest of it he was claiming and he helped the back four by just being commanding. And I do like to see Luke Allen coming on late because th that's a kind of play, if you're 3-1 down, you don't really want to see coming on the pitch. No, we knew they'd flood bodies forward and the, the, the thing that happened was we didn't want to get overrun in midfield and not track runners, so... It was a tactical way of bringing Luke in there because we know he's got energy to get in beyond Nathan. Um, Bradley hasn't played a lot of minutes, so he sort of like worked, worked tirelessly on the right-hand side, so we put Luke out there. Um, and I say Luke's a good player to come on. and He hasn't done anything wrong in the games he started. It was just a matter of me changing up tonight because I knew how they played, uh, and I thought Riz, with his, his age and experience in there, would, would be able to cope, cope more with, with their attacking threat, and, and it proved, proved uh, right. Now, whether we like it or not, we are approaching the business end of the season. I think we've now got, after tonight, we've now got nine games to go. Any thoughts on reinforcements? Um, I tried to get a couple in over the weekend. The chairman's uh, offered to give me a little bit more money to get someone in. And I thought I had a, a, another wide player in today. Um, but it fell through because he doesn't want to come to us. He'd rather go to another side. Um, which are further down in our league now. Can't imagine why. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's down to, to the individual, you know. But we're, we, I've got some money in the pot um, where I'll be looking to strengthen. Um, and like I say, I thank the chairman and the board for it. And um, if I can get someone in, I will do. But I'm not just going to go out and get anybody. You know, it's got to be the right person in the right fit um, at the minute. You know, could have been panicked. I could have bought someone in tonight after Saturday's result. But I've got faith in them players out there. And, and they've gone and shown me tonight. Um, why well, I've got faith in them. And despite a pretty nasty foul on uh, on uh, Nicky uh, in the first half, um, no injury issues that we're aware of? No, Charlie Webster tweaked his knee a little bit, so that's why he wasn't involved tonight. Uh, but no, nothing, nothing serious. There was a couple of knocks out there tonight, but nothing major. In Thursday, see Melvin. He'll work on them and then they'll be fit and raring to go on Saturday. Terrific. Now, well done. Congratulations on a terrific double over a good Enfield side. Well done. Cheers, Jim. Thank you.